Hey everybody, welcome to Arcane Duels. This is Intangible. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up Octagon, as well as how to uh, download Majors onto your Octagon software. So, uh, yeah, before we begin, I want to uh, give a shout out to uh, Schwentgott. He helps me uh, with the layout of the video, and uh, definitely a uh, shout out to Psych. Thank you for setting up Octagon for us for Mage Wars, and uh, I mean, you made it all happen, so we appreciate that. All right, so without further ado, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download Octagon. So uh, I'm, uh, oh, before we begin, I should just mention that uh, all these links, I will post them. So if you ever have a question as to where you can find this information, because there's a lot of links to uh, be aware of, um, we'll have the information written down for you, so hopefully you should be able to find everything just fine. All right, so anyway, here I am, I'm at Octagon. I'm gonna go ahead and download it, bam. Do, 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 and it's coming along. So the moment that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. Uh, just tell it to not do the shortcut because I don't want it. Boom. Already done, and we are good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, now that I've done it, I'm gonna launch Octagon. I'm not using Mac or Linux, so no. It does take a little bit of time to uh, to uh, to uh, start up the program. Not too much of an issue. Agree to the terms, unless you don't like it, and then don't play Octagon. All right. Next, you want to uh, you want to register. Uh, I already have a register, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in. All right, cool. So we're all set up. Um, so next thing you want to do is you want to go to uh, Games Manager. Yes. All right, you want to go to Games Manager and then uh, add Game Feed. So this is what I'm doing right now is we have Octagon, but we don't have Mage Wars, the, uh, the Mage Wars program attached to it now. So go ahead and name it. Name it something appropriate to whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to be like, uh, Mage Wars. Uh, next, you're going to need the, the URL. Um, so there we go okay so what i'm going to do here is actually i'm going to go to the easiest way to do this i mean you can get the the link we're going to post it so you can just uh push the you put the url in from there but the easiest way to reach uh the site to get to it is i'm going to go ahead and i'm just going to click register or login this is actually to register on octagon but instead i'm just going to go to installing games it's going to pull up so Every game needs this directory right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy paste this. Go back to Octagon. So the path is, well bam, that's it. That's for all of them. So it doesn't matter which game you're downloading, that's the that's the directory you're gonna need. Uh, next, go ahead and put in your uh, username. Click add. All right, cool. Um, da, 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 da. All right. Uh, to the left of the game feed, uh, you choose your, uh, bam, you choose your game name right there. You're gonna find it. Okay, so now I've clicked on the name. This is the, this thing. Now I just gotta choose the game that I'm gonna be playing. And in this case, it's gonna be Mage Wars. So click install. All right, cool. So we're all set there. Um, awesome. Next, I need to download the map packs for uh, Mage Wars because right now the game is installed and I have it on Octagon. However, I don't have any of the maps for it. So this is the Dropbox specifically for this. Click and uh, find the most uh, recent one. At this moment, we're on this guy right here. This should include our, I'm sorry, the uh, bam, this guy right here, the bigger one. So we're gonna go ahead and click this. I believe what this is right here is this is if you had already had a patch before, um, this is just going to update it, but this includes everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, download that. All right, now that that's downloaded, uh, I'm going to go to Octagon. Still in the Games Manager section, I'm going to click Add Image Packs. All right, so uh, this went to my downloads here, so I'm just going to go ahead and find that. It's MageWarsCards.08C. So bam, let's go. I have a lot of uh, downloads, so please ignore that because I'm messy and I just haven't got around to uh, fixing that. So, uh, is this the one I downloaded? Yes, it is. Same date. Cool. Open. So it should be mentioned right now that uh, at the time of this date, this is the most current pack. However, there will be more uh, packs coming all the time as Mage Wars does develop. So, if... Uh, yeah, you know, if you need new impacts, please download those as well. 
you know, especially uh, with domination around the corner, new stuff will be coming soon. So uh, keep that in mind. Bam. Okay. Cool. So we have that. Now we have uh, we have the image packs, which is awesome. And uh, we are basically ready to go. One thing I should mention before we actually start this up is uh, now that we have that, I should be able to go to um, should be able to go to my deck editor and I can see Mage Wars cards, but the deck editor is not completed yet. And we'll all have a separate video on the deck editor so we can actually, you, you know, how to make things in this. But for now, I'm just gonna close this, uh, close out Octagon, pretty important, because next I'm going to go into my documents here. I'm gonna go ahead and find Octagon. Then we're going to go to, uh, what is it? Game database into this series of numbers. And then we're gonna go to plugins. And then finally, this guy right here, the SBB. So uh, go ahead and click that and start downloading it. Yes, I do. Bam. All right, so that should be good. Now that that's done, uh, we should have no problem with that. Basically what I just uh, opened there was the uh, the download that's, it, it's gonna allow us to, um, to take out cards, uh, check the, uh, when we're making decks and stuff, it's going to allow us to, uh, Octagon, where are you? It's going to allow us to uh, find, um, or, or rather uh, confirm our spell books, as well as export them to the uh, spell book builder on the Mage War site. So that's pretty useful overall. All right, so gotta go ahead and find Octagon real quick. All right, so next thing I'm going to show you is uh, how to start games, how to join games, all that nifty jazz. Um, if you're not really into at least playing that much, at least you can see how many people are online at the moment and uh, at least join their game as a spectator. It's pretty cool, actually. I jump on quite a bit. I don't have enough time to play uh, always, so I will. Uh, I like to jump on and just see see who's playing and join them. So right now it's listing everything that I can play every game. If I uh, go to show uninstalled games right now, I can see that nobody's playing Mage Wars because I'm hiding the uninstalled games right now. Uh, so the only one I have installed is Mage Wars and since it's not showing up, no luck. However, if I click, go to spectate, once again, no games, but spectate will allow you to uh, you join, join the, join the uh, game as a spectator so you're not actually involved in it other than watching it and being able to chat. So um, that's basically how to do that. Once that happens, you'll find the game and then you can click on it. And uh, you, when you click on it, it will allow you to join into the game, which of course I don't have, so no luck there. But uh, moving on, uh, you should be able to figure that out, no problem. So if I wanna start my own game, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click start. Um, game name, give it a better name than this. I'm just gonna call it test. And since I am actually part of uh, Octagon and have donated, I am able to set a password, so I'm gonna do that. So nobody who's watching right now can join the game, so nah. Of course you wanna set it to Mage Wars, click start. And bam, here we are. This right now is just the, uh, it's the pre-game uh, window. It'll allow you to chat here if you want, uh, set up how, how you want. You can go to spectate, play. Uh, if you're running the game, you can switch to allow spectators or no. You wanna set it to one side table. Um, that allows you to be on one side, so to say. A um, little more complicated than that, but mm, you know, click, don't, click on one side of table is basically what I'm saying. Um, so I'm just gonna say no spectators and then I won't be able to play. So we'll click cha -cha -cha, and then, okay, anyway. Um, basically, from here, you can start your game. I'm the only one in it right now. So I'm gonna click start again, let it load. Cool, thanks. Uh, all right, and uh, here we are. This is what the game's gonna look like. Um, set it to, a, to full screen if you wish. You can actually drag this guy up and down, do little things right there. But uh, more on how to play in this window as we go along. So um, that'll be another episode. So hope you enjoyed. I hope this was informative. If you have any questions, this will be posted on a thread. So please ask. Um, hopefully uh, I can get Psych to help me out there. He's, he's the one running the show. So he knows everything about this and he's a lot more helpful than I will be. <laughs> so cool. Um, I'll see you guys next episode.